round. And this round, um, just uh, interesting news came out that J Rock William will not be applying the rematch clause, and he's not going to activate the rematch clause to fight Rosario. Of course, J Rock William, when he fought Rosario the first time, he was pretty focused. Um, he said that he's not overlooking him. He trained hard. But Rosario is that good of a fighter. And like I said, boxing is the theater of the unexpected. We see upsets all the time. So we, we, even though we just saw an upset last night on PBC, this was a very huge upset, possibly one of the biggest upsets in, was it in 2020 or 2019? 2019. Oh, this fight was in 2019? Yeah, yeah, 2019. yeah, so with that being said, Charlo versus Rosario could be the fight next because you already know Charlo been complaining about, you know, not getting a unification fight, wanting a unification fight, but can't get his hand on mm -hmm. a champion. So with that being said, can Lion only collect some more straps? <laughs> and how do you see this fight playing out at 154? Because Rosario is a live dog. You know, Charlo, you already know, we rep at the Lion only all day because he's willing to fight anybody. And he been fighting the best at his division, the likes of Lubin and all the above. And y'all saw the, the, the rematch with Tony it was a hell of a fight. Now a fight where Rosario, a fight makes sense, make dollars. And it's a unification bout. Um, so what's your uh, take on that? Yeah, so my mistake. So that, that fight was 2020. Oh, yeah. So the candidate of upset of the year. Yeah, 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 right at the beginning. Um, so I think it says something that, for first of all, I'll, I'll go with j Rock that he's not going right back into the um, rematch if you have a clause. Because you, you have, so there is a, so there's a championship belt that's out there that was previously yours and the guy who you fought you know, has that belt, and then you have an opportunity to exercise a clause in the contract that is you put into the contract, and then you have an opportunity because once you get into the ring with somebody, that belt is as much yours as, as it is that other opponent, right? Whoever comes out wins. So he has the opportunity to that have that belt sitting there for him. Uh, but I, I think it might stem to maybe there might be some kind of things in camp or some things that he needs to kind of adjust uh, his maybe his professional life. I want to speculate on like personal um, that he wants to make sure that he addresses and gets right, similar to Jay Hurd. Um, but uh, I, I I think it's interesting. So he that he's not. So he believes this probably wasn't kind of a fluke or just a bad night. That maybe there was some things in there that uh, he really needs to work on. Yeah. Well, um, with um, lines only. With uh, so this is with um, Jamel, Jamel, um, Charlo. So I mean, yeah, I mean it's it's interesting, I guess. Go get another strap. I mean, I do you see I, that I, as a I, fifty I fifty fight? Because I believe nah, Rosario I is 50, a live 50. dog. He's definitely a live dog. It doesn't mean there had to be a fifty fifty fight. I still give Charlo his his props. He's one of the uh, top, he ain't de 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 definitely top. You know, in in his in his weight division. Yeah. Um. So. Um, yeah, I mean, I I would have him the favorite in that. Yeah, I get mean, another strap. But one thing for sure, Charlo is not sending in Canelo. Like he will go straight to the a fire to the Lions Den and fight the best. And Rosario made a you know he beat J Rock in an impressive fashion. J Rock one of the best fighters in the game, especially at one fifty four, and he dismantled him. So I believe Charlo versus Rosario. Is almost almost a 50-50 fight. I have to favor my man Charlo, but at the end of the day, he cannot sleep on him because that's one guy that could cause an upset pretty easy. I mean, like the way the um the 154-pound division have been circulating lately has been very interesting uh, interesting. You know, Herd beat Lara, Lara beat this guy. This this split decision is a boxing debate slash talk show where I key, you know, he chewed up. Uh, Professor Nam like some Eminem. I mean, I'm, today I'm, I'm rapping like I'm Eminem. I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like the OG swag. Younger here. in the game, but OG in here. So with that here. being said, I'm even though he a professor today, like I said, I'm the doctor. I'll tell you the truth, and Errol Spence, the truth co-sign what I'm saying, saying that 
Tyson Fury basically there's a question mark next to his name and his All legacy with me as a whole. Hashtag professional. Uh, so drop your comments six, six, below six, who won the debate the tonight. School. What? So who drop your comments below? Hashtag Aki, hashtag Professor Nim. Let's see who won the debate. You already know. Like I said, I buried Professor Nim alive today. I'm looking, um, I'm looking so good. So we're gonna for... talk about this on a different episode as well. We have more topics, but we don't have the time. And I appreciate all my keys and all the people in the chat. Like I said, I see y'all ripping the Aki Nation. I see y'all telling 3P me Nation, I, I, I buried Professor Nim, my own bro ski alive. So with that being said, if I do that to my own bro ski, picture what I'm gonna do to you. Peace and we out it. Take us out, Professor Nim. You know what it is. Subscribe and like Blue Corner.